Interior Risses, I'm Ash Appleton. Welcome back to An African Eye. In this episode, which is part two of my rooftop studio, Renault Reveal, I'm going to show you all the changes I've made outside. This space has changed dramatically. And I'm also going to give you some ideas on what, how you can improve your outdoor spaces. Really good one for you if you're renting. So keep watching. <music> This space has gone through quite a number of changes from when I first moved in. It was quite a boring space before, basically terracotta tiles and not much going on. And then I put in the concrete floor, painted the, the wall yellow, added more pops of yellow and gray. So I decided to bring the terrazzo right out here. And what a difference it's made. It just lifted the whole space. It feels a lot lighter. The gray was a bit heavy. The thing about the terrazzo, it's really quite messy and it's dirty and it's just, there's so much dust. So it's just kind of something you'd want to introduce into a space if you're living in it. And I was living right here and it was hell. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. But obviously if you're renting, this is not going to be a problem. And that's why rugs are a really great alternative in terms of changing up your flooring. You know, just rugs. I mean, there's just so many possibilities in terms of what you can do. And they introduce texture, they introduce color personality as well. What I love about rugs is you can just bring them into your outdoor space and then when you, at the end of the day, just roll them up and pull them back in. I mean, what's not to like? With rugs is you're treating the space like another room. And that's really important. You, you've got an outdoor space, think of it in terms of being another room and then your styling has to carry through from inside right outside. The next big change was swapping out the furniture. I had this rectangular glass top table and then I had the white chairs and they were fine but they weren't amazing. They weren't, you know, they just they were just okay. I had the match I actually had the table made but the problem is the studio space is rectangular. So that and the table is rectangular and then I have this built-in seating which is like an L shape. So everything felt a bit boxy and and pulled back, it pulled in, if you get my meaning. The energy wasn't right. So what I've done now, I've brought in this sort of very classic round table, glass top, raw tie and round table and these chairs. And it, what a difference because the round table sort of contrasts with the, the rectangular sort of shape of the terrace. And I, I, that works really well. Because you remember when you're designing interiors, it's always good to contrast so that round, table is a nice contrast to the rectangular space and then also it's a style the style is more classic invest in the nicest outdoor furniture you can afford and then make it versatile I had these two chairs on this table in my flat in London and now they're here in Nairobi and they still work for me and they didn't cost a fortune either previously there were just too many plants for this space actually the overwhelming this terrace because it's not it's not huge and had really big planters so I actually sort of edited them down and just gave some away and what you see now is what works in this space then I painted the planters I bought them when they were grey now they're white and then white just reflects the feeling of the space and I just love the way it looks and another trick is to have planters at different levels so you can have floor level so eye level like I've got some on the wall I love the ones on the wall they were, they were also grey, the planters, I painted them black and it's a nice link to the wrought iron furniture which is also black. So plants, you can't go wrong if you introduce plants into your space. In this video here, I talk about bringing the outside in and all the ways you can do it and there I talk about plants, I give you a bit more information so check this one out as well, there's, that's, there's a lot of information in there. Orange is more prominent now than it was before. Whereas previously it was more yellow and gray and white. And now I've, orange is making quite a statement. And, I, and I'm, I'm, quite, I'm loving it. Because orange is a very joyful, uplifting color. It's vibrant and it gives energy to spaces. And considering that I use this space to entertain and I also relax here, it kind of fits the vibe. But you've got to be careful how you use colors like orange because if you overuse them, they can get a bit, they can look a bit tacky and cheap. So that's, that's the thing with orange. You've got to be very careful how you use it. So what I've done here, I've contrasted the orange with a classic traditional kind of 
wrought iron furniture. So it's a nice juxtaposition. So you, you see what I'm talking about? And I've also layered orange. I'm introduced different types of fabrics and different prints. I've got stripey orange and white for the base cushions. I've got the back cushions, which also have pops of orange. And I've introduced a rust, some rust colors in the cushions, which tone down the orange. Tableware, for example, is a wonderful way to introduce your color palette, to tell people about who you are, you know, what you love, and you're, you're unsure of your personality. And if you're renting, what's not to like? I mean, because whatever you buy in terms of tableware, whatever you invest in, let me put it that way, whatever you invest in, you're gonna move with, you're gonna move with. So start investing in nice plates, you know, you know cutlery, crockery, dishes, handmade things you can get in markets. Try and start investing those, those kind of things now and you add to them as you go along. So if you're in a space and you think, oh, I don't wanna make a lot of changes, they're gonna cost a lot of money, invest in tableware, flatware, and then also like napkins, napkin ring holders, all these kind of things really will bring your interior, it'll just transport your interior to another level. Quick question, what kind of space do you have? Do you have outdoor space? Is it a veranda, is it a balcony? of an apartment, please let me know in the comments. It'd just, it'd just be interested to, to know what, you, what kind of space you're dealing with and what kind of challenges do you have. Because if you have a, like a outdoor space that's walled, paint. Paint transforms the space immediately. And then what do you have on your walls? If you've got outdoor space, it's an opportunity to introduce art on the walls. Don't think, don't think of art as being confined inside. It works wonderfully outside. I've got like um, this sort of wrought iron and glass. I've got, you know, 3D art. I've also, I also collect tiles when I travel. So I've got a little detail going on there. Obviously if you're renting, it's gonna be a bit of a, it's not really practical to, to tile a, a wall. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend that. But even a wind chime is a great thing to have. I've got this wooden bird. I mean, there's just so many things you can do to transform outdoor spaces. So don't overlook that. If you're lucky enough to have outdoor space, use, maximize it, whether we like it or not. We're still living with COVID. We're all spending a lot more time indoors because of lockdowns and curfews and everything. So why not make your space something that works for you? Because it's just like another room. It's another room that you can use and it's a great place to entertain, especially if you're nervous about having people inside. So if you want ideas on how to make small spaces feel bigger, then watch this video. It's a good one because in that one, I also show you how the space looked before this latest renovation. So don't miss that one. And this video is all about bringing that outside in. It's also a good one if you've got an outdoor space. So make sure you check those two out. Like, subscribe, share with your friends, ping the notification bell so you don't miss future content. And I do appreciate you following. I love your questions. I love your questions. So keep them coming. You can DM me, DM me on Instagram as well. And I've got good content on Instagram, so follow me there.